Okay, we're over here on the lathe, um, and we've got our um, our, our Cheapco um, soft jaws mounted up here and uh, snugged up. Anyway, so they're just um, they're just snugged up lightly here. Well, I don't know about lightly, medium I would call it. And um, what we want to do now is um, show how you uh, set up to bore these. So what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to cut in um, a diameter like so around these. You know, and we're going to go in a little ways, come down, and that's going to hold um, uh, our gear blank. Um, but what we need to do is, and it, I don't know if you can see it moving, but the jaws have, you can't just machine it like this, okay? We need to preload the system, okay? And we need to preload it in a very similar way to the way we're going to clamp the part. So what that means is we really want to clamp on a, on a ring or something in here to uh, make the jaws push outward against this little bit of play that we see in the system here. So there's a couple ways you can do that. You can put a disc in here if you have a disc that's the right size. Um, there, there's a number of things that you can do, but a real simple way of doing that is with a spider here, okay? And uh, now this is this is a pretty good size one here, and you know obviously it's adjustable for different diameters. And you know I went and found the right bolts, so this goes in here like so. Um, and what this does is that goes in like so and then you know we can run these out against the jaws here nicely kind of in their in their static position like so and you know you can measure them with the calipers too off of one side to the other and make them all the same so it it simulates a disc of a of a particular size here and then what we do is we crank down against that, okay? Now, what I do whenever I'm doing soft jaws like this is I give it an initial <clears throat> pretty good tighten. That way, there, any play in, in the bolt connection and the key connection gets pushed outward. Okay, then I <clears throat> back off and then I come back on it to about where I think I'm going to torque it when I put the part in there, okay? And you can see that's in there, that's in there firmly, okay? So now, now we can actually uh, um, set up a boring bar and we can come in here and bore a diameter that our gear is going to fit, okay? And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get the gear. Uh, I don't think I'm going to bore it right now because I'm not quite ready to do, the, uh, to do the deed yet. I just wanted to show the, uh, um, the spider and how that's used. Now, the other thing I noticed here too is... Um, this hex is very close to the inner diameter of the of the uh, of the jaw there, so I can actually take these bolts out and put that um, in the actual mask. In fact, let me just take it out so you can kind of see that. Let's take that out. So I could actually put something in here too, which preloads that jaw outward. It's a little bit better to be on the thing that we're boring. But if I want to make a deeper recess in here, um, this is this might be in my way here. Okay, um, you know I could use a piece of all thread instead, and then the head would be a little smaller. So there's some things you can do to to kind of get it out of your way. Um, but um, anyway, so that's that's how you can preload the um, uh, the soft jaws in the, in the direction that you need to bore. Them. So I'm going to, I got a couple more of these that I've made over the years and I'll just get those and I'll just show them to you real quick. Alright, so we're showing the, uh, the shot, uh, soft jaw spiders and here's a couple more that I've made over the years. These are for three jaw chucks um, and you know this is it's a real simple way to make them. That way you don't have to go uh, hunting around for discs and slugs that are the right diameter. Uh, but I think for this particular job we're just going to um, we're going to go ahead and put this little hex down in there. And the beauty of this system is, so I'm going to go ahead and I would bore these, right? And if I miss that diameter, if I screw up, 
and, uh, and, and mess up, what I can do is just crank these in just a little bit, which brings this whole thing in there, and then I get another chance at it. Uh, so I can actually bore a... Um, it's a great system for uh, kind of a precision diameter and a precision Z depth stop if you have a lot of parts you're going to do uh, or you have a tricky part to hold. Um, gives you a perfect, uh, you know, a perfect pocket for the, uh, the article to sit in. Okay, so here's, this is the, this is the part we're going to actually uh, do a precision bore on here. And um, so, you know, we're, you're, the general first impression is, well, yeah, just grab it by the OD, right, and, uh, and then bore that hole. Well, the, the OD of this particular gear here is not really the functional surface of this gear. Um, if we look at, uh, if we look at how it interacts with this one here, those tips don't e come anywhere near there, okay? So that's not really the surface that we want to use as a datum here, okay? What we really care about is the flanks here uh, where they're contacting, where it's actually making contact, okay? And that's what we want to be our, our datum um, on pretty much any gearing system, okay? So this is one type of this is one type of gear here um, and then you know here's another one that most folks would be more familiar with this is just a big spur gear here right well if you've looked at how gears interact with one another this this surface here this surface here is really non-functional right it doesn't really do anything it's along for the ride um, the part that actually does the business is is here okay the, the tooth face Okay, and that's really what you want your datum to be. So you want your center of rotation to be in relation to the center of all of those, um, those, the faces, or those flanks of those gears, right? So the way we do that, the right, the cool way to do it is, and, uh, is what you do is you, you put a pin in, okay? So now this precision pin here, is actually contacting those two those two faces. So what we do is we put a few pins around in there, and what that does is that simulates a circle that is the is the average of all of those faces. Okay, and um, um, and so it's 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 a we are placing a, a um, what do I want to call it a uh, um, a filler basically a precision filler that references th those. Um, those important faces, okay? So you really want to bore these on the pitch line, okay? So every gear system, you know, when you have two gears in mesh, there's a little, there's a pitch diameter. So ideally, you're boring it on the pitch diameter. So when you get a, when you get a gear like this from Martin or, or Boston or whoever, right? You know, the hubs and the OD are all turned and then it's got a rough bore in it, right? Well, you know, most guys just grab this by the OD and then smack a bore in there and, and off they go. Well, for the smoothest running gear systems, right, you want the, the pitch diameter and the center of rotation to be, uh, you know, in true position to one another, concentric, um, as closely as possible for really smooth running gears, you know. So here's the extreme. So this center is way off and this gear is doing this. Well, what's happening? It's getting tighter, it's getting looser, it's getting tighter, it's getting looser, right? So that's exactly what we don't want to happen on a gear system, right? So uh, same thing with chain sprockets and things like that. You can bore, you know, the, the best way is to bore them off of the pitch line, okay? And this is how we do that. So what we're going to do here, so this, these pins fit here, okay? But what we're going to do here is I have some, um, some bronze bushings here. Or these are hard bronze bushings that are about the right size. And we're going to stuff some of those in here, you know, enough to uh, contact our soft jaws, okay? however many we need. So those are going to average those, those flanks in there. And when we bore those soft jaws, they're going to clamp on these and clamp against that. And we're not referencing that surface. So this is what I mentioned in the other video. It's a surface that we can't access with normal chuck jaws, right? So what we do is we, we bore a circle of, of the correct diameter, which is a circle that encompasses that and then we're holding it on that, but it's really um, referencing that's the surface that we care about. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Um, 
anyway, uh, um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to bore a circle that just, just barely fits into uh, along those, and then we're going to clamp on that, and, uh, and then we're going to bore that center. And then we'll have a, you know, something we can hang on to um, uh, to do other operations if we need to. And the same thing will happen here, although this one's uh, even more interesting because it's an internal gear. Okay, so that's soft jaws and uh, boring on the pitch line.